Hard-hitting insight into the world of crack cocaine and heroin addiction now on BBC Two. Honest dealing with the subject means the programme contains scenes of drug abuse, some which viewers may find disturbing, sexually explicit material and very strong language right from the start. Crack House. Crack cocaine, it's the king of all drugs, the undisputed champion of class A narcotics. Give me in, give me in. It's expensive, tiny, and very, very addictive. I'm more of a rockhead than a fucking smackhead. I love me rock. It's a drug dealer's dream, the most addictive feeling in the known drug universe. I know this because I used to be a crack addict. And some of my friends still are. But these girls aren't monsters. I've known most of them since we were kids together. Oh, fuck off, fuck off. He loves all the attach the guns. Get at me. I stopped taking crack because I wanted to make a film. Can't we get you on it? Here's our nice car. Isn't he, boss? My name's Carl John, but everybody calls me CJ. That's me a year ago when I started filming. I've got to put a mic on you first. Can I put a mic on you? A mic? Yeah. Ooh, got oh, your yeah. ass then, baby. Eey! <laughs> Eey! <laughs> you go, baby. You go. I've got this. <laughs> Nikki's a good friend of mine, and I've got to know her really well over the last year. She works as a prostitute six nights a week. She's getting ready right now to go out with her friend. The girls call it standing on the block. Hi, Mace. I'm just on my way out, love. Me too. You go down to Nanny Elna's now. Go on. Mm. No, go on. Mum's going for the paint. Mm. She's also got a nine-year-old son mm. so who lives with his nan. What do you want? Mm. Mm. I want to see you. All right, well, I'm going now because I've got to go out. You're going to town, aren't we, tomorrow? Otherwise, if you don't, you know... See you later. Can't stay in the bathroom, get your stuff. Is he go is he staying here or going home? He's going home in a minute, aren't you, Mace? Hey. Yeah. See you later. Ta -da. Can you show me how to raise it now? It's past your bedtime, don't you think? Please. Don't you think it's past your bedtime? Look the past is nearly gone. How do you know? Look. I know. Says. Hmm. What was it like then? Scary, mate. I dropped Nicky's son off at his auntie's house on the next street and went to watch Nicky and her friend at work. I had to hide in the bushes to film them. It's cold on the block in the middle of January. Nicky's friend isn't a prostitute, she just goes with Nicky to look after her. But tonight, it's here that pulls a punter. Get on this, man. You can't before I could do anything. There's your fire bombs. Let's go home. Oh, yeah. There's your fire bombs. I didn't even thank you. Get on that. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get on that. There's your fire bombs. I didn't come before I could even fuck you. Going to the garage and we're going to score and we're going to pay. Let's have a lick. I fucking rock like that. Let's fucking love ya. Oh, you're coming home anyway. Yeah, yeah, not to fuck me. In the kit, the baby was coming home. She's staying here and she's not playing out tonight, okay? <laughs> but I, I fucking love that. Let's <laughs> fucking have ya. I was born in Toxted, Liverpool 8, but lived and worked in London for 10 years. When I returned, due to the untimely death of my brother, I was just so shocked at what I found. Every single one of my friends were now either crack addicts or crack dealers. I've seen a lot of films about drugs, but they all seem to be made from the outside. I wanted to show what the view was like from where I was. 
A few days later, I tracked down an old friend, Tanya, to a crack house in the middle of Toxteth. We went to school together. She was cock of the girls and most of the boys. She was sharing the house with Virginia, another girl I've known for over 20 years. Yeah, yeah but you was a lift then. Yeah, well, you can one. get that anyway. No, I know that. I'm just saying. I just want one. Yeah, well, you're getting it anyway. The deal is, oh, Tanya, Tanya does the cooking and the cleaning while Virginia, well, she goes down on the block to sell her ass for anyway. crack. What do you need doing? Anything else? No, I'll sort of Sure. Tanya broke her parole six months ago. There's some milk here. <laughs> When I found her, she was still on the run from the police. What's it like being a fugitive? It's not nice. What precautions do you take not to get arrested? I have to keep a lid all the time, keep on my guard. Well, how can you get a false name in? All the fucking busies know you. You know? To get mixed up with me and Mandy. You know where you live, you know where to find you, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You barely want to, you come and get ya. Tanya's two year old daughter has been taken into care. She's trying to get relatives to adopt her before handing herself into the police. The social services are threatening me with adoption now. Can you adopt her when there's family that are willing to take her car? Mm -hmm. Do you have to explore every aspect first before you go into that? And there's family willing to have her. And your mum can't take her cause. My mum's dead. And your sister Malita can't take her cause. She's dead. And your brother Keith can't take her cause. She's dead. And I'm pining for that. I really want to see it badly. I'm no disrespect her, but I can't talk about her no more because it'll upset me because I'm planning for that. <laughs> Let it down. You have what's on temporary. <laughs> Let it down because she's been living with me. I had to in prison with me and everything. I've let it down. <laughs> Tanya, you always love it and you'll always be there for me. <laughs> And you have a oh them. God, they're not taking her, they're not putting her with the strangers, man. I only get pictures four times a year and I need to see her. I'm not allowing that to happen. Do you remember the sitcom Bread? It was filmed in these streets in the 80s. You know, gotta get up, gotta get out. Grab the wheel by the throat and shout. The buzz was a long one. It's Nikki and a friend that live here now. Hey guys, I've got two white. Crack. That's what that calls. Crack. <laughs> and a brown. That's heroin. Crack is mentally addictive, but heroin, it's a physical thing. People take crack to get high and heroin to come down. Smoking one drug makes you want to smoke the other one even more. It's 4pm and the girls are getting up after a night on the block. When she wakes up, she's going to be really, like, shaking now. And she'll wake up and if that's not there when she gets up, She'll throw up, but if that's there, she won't be sick. If that's not there, she's terrible, and I don't like seeing her like that. And here's one of mine's earlier. <laughs> here's one of mine's earlier. Fucking hell, size of that girl. Yeah. You look like the fucking Maisie <laughs> Tunnel then, you know. Tony. Did you swallow that? You never. You never. Nikki was clean for seven years. Ugh. Then one night, when she was walking home from a club, she was raped. Ever since then, she'd been right back on the gear. I just felt this twat right on my head. Couldn't hit me with a bottle. Clunk. And I saw it hit the floor. And next thing I just visual me getting dragged across the road from one side to the other. I must have blacked out because I can remember this lad saying, you oh, fucking what are you doing? Fucking enough's enough, you know what I mean? What are you doing? One big tall lad who shit himself because the other lads was going too far. I was unconscious. I come to and the lads was over me, do you know what I mean? <coughs> I was like carrying on, but I was just stuck. I don't know, it was weird. I did the time was. Yeah. But I wasn't. You can't think straight. But I wasn't. I wasn't in. I wasn't where it where it has happened because I couldn't remember. Yeah. So, and that's, that's what weird. pissed me off. Know, the but you block it out, though, yeah, you do. as well. Yeah, you do. It's like a memory loss. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the 
Sachen. Go girls, Mr. Drug Competition on it. Nicky in the hand, let's take a man when she's chasing the brown, chasing the brown. Bet you up on the rock, on the rock, and she's looking at hard on the light, and I come on, I'm starting to neck it. Oh! Does anybody want ice cream? Lolly ice. Mr. Whippy? Walnut whip? Side then. You look like you're gonna. That night, I went round to Tanya's house. Oh, shit! Being a fugitive from justice really can mess up your daily routine. Tanya's still scared to go out on the block in case she gets nicked. But she's been locked up in the house now for over a month. Have you ever sat there, Virginia, and said to yourself, I wish things could be different? Yeah. You know, in the 18th century, mm. it was the Black Plague. Now it's the white plague. The white plague. The is it's the full it's evil. It's the root of all evil. And you know what? He loved it. When I was twenty two, I had everything a girl could wish for, I had everything come for me. Running to town, buying the latest outfit, wanna know the latest right. dance. Drinking poison <coughs> with me spars, bullet and everything. Do you know what I mean? Parties, Ah, uh, the respect we used to have. We haven't got that now. She just looked look, look down on us over here, all those crackheads. You know what I mean? And it hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> A week later, I went window shopping with Nikki and her son. No. You want that one now? Or like that one? Like that one. Although he lives with his nan, Nikki sees his son a couple of times a week. And she's told me she wants to get clean so she can have him back full time. Is that the one you want? That one there, I would love. But like all crack addicts, I don't know if she really means what she says. All he said to me is to see my shop. Mum, it won't be long before I come home. Back, back in at my house, will it, for it ever and stay with you um, for long because you're getting better now, aren't you? And it won't be long before you're not sick and you're properly better, isn't it, Mum? I went, yeah, of course it is, babe. Once it, you'll be back before Christmas. But as I said to Elma last night, once I'm better and I'm totally off the drugs, how do I go about getting back? Do I just take him back? Because he's not going to court, he hasn't gone to court, nothing of that. So I been... give me Mum. Oh, see, so you made your mum guardian? Yeah. There's no, nothing official, nothing written down? No. So it's really up to you. You were in charge of your senses enough to put them there. So when you finish to fucking about, your little binges or whatever, and your shit sorted, you just go back again. And only you'll know when that is. Well, come on. Nice to have you. Oh, 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 oh. The next day, Virginia went out to score some gear and just didn't come back. Tanya's rattling. Oh, it's a Don't even feel me, Carl. I'm not in the mood. Why? Don't, because I'm not in the mood. Why aren't you in the mood? Because I'm feeling rough. Well, I'm what? not in the mood. Don't feel me right. <laughs> Stop being a baby. <laughs> Wait. Have you got the flu? How it happens? <sighs> If a drug addict had ten pounds a day or a thousand pounds a day, they'd spend every last penny on drugs and then go out and rob a pint of milk for a cup of tea. What Nikki's doing now is putting a bag together to go shoplifting. The alarm, the metal, the bug, it's that stops it from sending the signal out. The best thing, £100 DVD from Curry's. Just took her off the shelf. Walked out with it. <laughs> Be surprised how many people do this, you know. Surprise. I've been making this film for three months now. 
Sometimes I wonder if I'm a crackhead trying to be a filmmaker, or a filmmaker pretending to be a crackhead. I had a foot in either world, and it was starting to become a problem. Anyway, you fucking producer or whatever it is. You've got something to tell me, what? Tell your fucking producer all my efforts I'm putting into it. Right? Tell him he didn't fucking help me yesterday when I was dead, and he wanted that he bought me, he just bought me a fucking phone. You gotta give me a fucking cent, I'm fucking. You know, no, that's not job, right. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't give you money for drugs, Tanya. It's just not right. Oh, fuck off. I wouldn't give you money for nothing. I'd buy you food, I'd buy you clothes. I couldn't give you the dough. You just fuck off and score. Oh, do you fuck blame off. me? No, no, no. no, no do you blame me? Yeah. You smelt with me, you cunt. <laughs> So shut up. No, I wouldn't have done. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have done. You have done. Yeah, but I wouldn't have done. Well, shut up. Tanya was right. I had smoked with her. We used to be drug friends, but now that part of my life's over. I don't know what we are. The truth is, I still want something from her, because I'm trying to make this film, but I can't give her what she wants in return. Where are you going now, Nick? Into town. Before? Graft. What does graft mean? You know what it means, one of the children? I know what graft a... means. But our viewers on the BBC don't know what graft means. I'm going means. to rob the shops Graf for my drug money. Death. 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 But if we go in the shop first for ciggies, because I need a ciggy. Tanya's going off her head now because Virginia's still missing. She's decided to go out onto the street. She's a clipper. She doesn't have sex with the punters, she just rubs them. Later on that night, Tanya got nicked, and when they found out who she was, they sent her straight back to prison. Tanya got 12 months, so I decided to track down Virginia. I'd almost given up hope when her mother told me where she might be. She also told me that Virginia was pregnant. It's fucking stinks. Oh my god. Shit in the bath. Puke in the bath. She's been here. God knows where she is today. I couldn't find Virginia. But as I was leaving, I ran into a new boyfriend, Steve, who was also waiting for her to turn up. Where's your pregnant girlfriend, Virginia? That's up in the half being looking for her. When was the last time you seen her? Because I was here last week at yeah. the Perrier's. Uh, <coughs> two nights ago now. Here? Was that here? No, just over the Across the road. The road. Yeah. Was that your baby? No. Are you still willing to look after yeah. her? Will, yeah. she, will she be able to keep the baby, do you think? Well, she's saying that if she wants to, she's going to get her head together, but... I was still getting to know Steve when Virginia eventually showed up. Hey, yeah! Here she is. Hey! Look how big your belly is. That's getting big. <laughs> get that in! <laughs> <laughs> That's massive. And now you can come in. Hey, do you know what? Just one who come in and see me up giving birth to the baby. Dad would love that. Would you? I'll say I'm the dad. <laughs> and then when it's born, I'll go, That's not me! <laughs> <laughs> and storm out. Virginia's got two other kids, but she doesn't live with them. One's in care and one's with her relatives. God knows why she wants to have another one. It's likely she won't be able to keep that one either, but maybe Steve is the difference this time. Hey, you make a nice couple. <laughs> Pain in the fucking uterus <laughs> just now. What <laughs> are you up to now? Gonna get to some drugs. Where are you gonna get that from? <sighs> You're getting them out of I'm getting them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a med for you. <laughs> <laughs> there did seem to be some kind of affection between Virginia and Steve in a double act kind of a way. But whether they could bring up a kid together, I just don't know. <laughs> One night we were walking down on school, the right, right. side. We've gone to school, we've oh, gone to them, school. Them, we're, we're in the end, you know, right? We've only got a turn, but we want one of each. We could be scoring off the walls, eh? Right? So, so she's gone like that, I'll show me sis. So we're in the end, you know, and the boys come, yeah? 
like the boys there and I'm here saying yeah I'll do this I'll do that and she's standing there but yeah, like, she's like yeah, that yeah, she's yeah. got a top up like that with the tits going whoa do it for these do it for these they weren't even on to me I had to point it out I said yeah hello no do it for them <laughs> do it for them and did he no did he fuck <laughs> Steve gets to share the drugs by watching Virginia's back while she's working on the block, but it's hard to see what he's doing to earn his share. When we're in the house and all that, once she's had a smoke and all that, you know, I just want to chill and like, she just wants to get out there. I think what it is with her, because she's been doing it for that many years, it's just their life, you know what I mean? Like I know some fellas who just used to go and put oh, them on yeah, the block to get them to go and just the money. smoke all the drugs, mm. pretend they love them. You know, but like I've said to Virginia enough times, you know, you just stop giving that. And like, I'll go out and make me money. Cause like, I could go out and I could go out and do a craft and then night and like make more money, you know what I mean? But she doesn't want you to do that, does she? She was saying she doesn't want you getting locked up before the baby arrives. And you can't have that baby if you didn't that out. You can't have that. She's got nowhere to live. you got to sort that out. So yeah. before, man, yeah. fucking hell. You can have a pram, a cot, bottles, sterilizers, baby grows. Where the fuck's all that coming from? A couple of streets away, Nikki's also looking for a punter. She's fallen out with her friend, and tonight she's on the block on her own. She said it was okay to put a radio mic in her bag. Yeah. It depends, right? <laughs> it depends on what. Like, you don't want to go for the tenner. You're going to play a shot for the tenner. All right, then. So it's hard to do. Don't go near my back end, whatever you do. Okay. Why not? Because I'm not going to work, don't even go there. Can I put my finger up? No. Can I put my finger up in there? No! Right? about Virginia still working while she was pregnant. So the next morning, I went round to check on her and Steve. I just taken a quick glance up and down the street. Do you know which one Virginia's been living at? Yes, you guessed it, this one. I wasn't particularly shocked because Virginia's burnt out a lot of houses. Junkies tend to fall asleep with candles burning. Eventually, I found her down on the block doing what she does best. 365 days of the year I go out there. 365 days of the year. I'm 28, right? I've got nothing, I've got fuck all, right? I've got two, I've got three kids, right? And I haven't even got them. That's not life. Life's fucking, you know what I mean? Coming and going, it's passing me. Virginia used to have a boyfriend, but he OD'd and died. The same dealer gave Virginia gear for free, just to help her get over it. She still goes on about how kind that dealer was to her during that time, even though it was his gear that killed her boyfriend. There's a weird morality to this drugs world, and sometimes, when I see her here on the block, pregnant, hiding her belly from the punters, I want to buy her a rock. But I know if I do that, she'll be right back down here ten minutes after smoking it. Virginia finally got a punter and got herself a rock. She went round to Steve's new squat to smoke him. Because she's pregnant and I'm always losing her, I decided to give her a mobile phone. Steve! wonder what's happened to Steve. They're getting the busy he's doing every lives here, so we could have been next. I'm gonna give you this phone, Virginia. Yeah. Can, did you hear what I said? Keep this in your pocket. Don't get it robbed off I you. Won't, I won't. I'm not having been going off. The phone for me. Don't give it to no one. Don't no. lend it to no one. Phone me or phone a fucking ambulance. I've got you this phone, but it's important, Virginia. That's right. Shall we? Well, repeat what I've just said then. Yeah. Don't give it to nobody. Keep it on you. Yeah. You can phone for the rock for yourself. 
Whatever, that's what it's for, it's for you and an ambulance. And an ambulance. Phone for me or an ambulance. I don't want your phone up for a rock actually. But I know you're probably going to. Instead of running to the phone, you're going to use the mobile, but. Well, yeah, that's what you're going to do. Have a nice day. So, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> It's my glowing. It looks too small for you now. Nikki's been spending more and more time with her son. She seems to be really serious about getting off gear, and she's arranged to go up to her mum's to phone up some detox clinics. But before leaving, she'll just have one more leg. what they were like, not what they're like now. And Nikki, Nikki isn't a bad drug addict, because no, she's no. never stolen off me. Ever. She's never took Thank any, you. never, Thank ever, you. ever took anything Thank off you. me. Thank you. Excellent. Never. Yes. And she's never stole off any of the family. Never. Thank you. When did you sneak all these out? These are out of my albums. Hello, yeah, um, I'm due to start the detox, uh, the subutex, um, and I'd like to know what date I started, the 27th, what time? You're looking forward to this detox then? Yeah, I can't wait. So I'm to your mum. I was Because you both of us, you know, you're going to be a trial for both of you really, isn't it? Been yeah. through this before, haven't we? Yeah, half a dozen times. About well, once before. If Nicky gets through the programme, she'll get her son back. I'm hoping he's going back home. Even as soon as she's well and the house is straight, I think that he's, he's going to be back. Because that's what he wants. He doesn't want to be here with me. Do you go back Because, yeah. Virginia is due to give birth in four weeks' time, and Steve has been arrested. As far as I know, he's been, he got caught in a house. Burglar? Burglar. When was this? Last Monday, that was today. She wanted to read me a letter she'd written him. Plenty, my love. Virginia, I am missing you very much. Believe me, babe, my life is not the same without you. It's not, you know. Look how long we've been to, yeah, listen to this. Do you know how long we, we've been together, me and Stephen, right, Amy, for a couple of months? Do you know we haven't even had sex? Now, isn't that what, you know, you know what I mean? If, when you're with men, you know what I mean? The, you know what I mean? The first thing that's on the brain is, is a shag, isn't it? Right, Amy? What if eventually I have sex with him and he's shit? Are you going to fuck him up? He isn't. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Well, he's telling me, I, I don't uh, know, he's doing me. I'm not bothered. Okay. Well, then again, I'm not bothered anyway, whether he's shit or not, because basically he won't have a chance to do what he wants anyway, because I go in charge. Nicky! I've got an appointment. Nikki told me she'd been off the crack for four days and was due for an assessment at the detox clinic. Are you ready? So I went round to get her out of bed. Do you mum's coming round at nine to get you? So. The appointment's for nine? So. You still going? Yeah. They won't allow her on the programme if she has crack in her system. Can we can't you? Fuck them. No. Don't fuck them. Come on, let's go. I can't. You just woke up, CJ. Sorry. Do you want it? Just 
before you go in there. How do you feel? It's like shit. I want to come in and have me smack. Nicola. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. See you when you come out. Nikki's failed the assessment. I come positive for crack. And I've not nothing since Sunday. Is that the truth though? That on my baby's life, I've had nothing since Sunday. Well, she not clean up your system by now. Four to five days. Is it the fifth day today? Four. Should be well out of your system by tomorrow. I've had nothing since Sunday. I said to you, you shouldn't have touched anything. Not easy to say. You just, you know, I don't know what you're saying. It's hard. I'm walking the park. The clinic have decided to give Mickey another chance. They've invited her back for another test tomorrow. And most probably when you go tomorrow, it will prove negative. And there won't be any crack in her system. Because I know she wouldn't... She knows I can't go through this again. She knows that. We'll try this way. I'll run around. I'll do anything I have to do. But Nikki knows if she fails this time. And she's on her own. Nikki! 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 She's not opening the door. The key's not in the door. Don't know where she is. And it closes at half four, and it's. Ten past four now. My mum Joyce phoned me earlier on to ask me to try and get it because she's been trying to phone and her phone's just switched off. Doesn't seem to be any joy. I'll come back later. She must be inside. But she's just not answering the door for one reason or another. Nikki wasn't getting out of bed. So I tried phoning Virginia on the phone, I gave her, and a dealer answered. Don't get me wrong, I've always wanted my own phone, right? Now, every time I've had phones, they've never been, there's never been any charges with them. So I've had to fuck them off, do you know what I mean? And, like, the one that you've given me, I'm buzzing with it. Absolutely it should buzzing. Be in your pocket right? right, listen, now. yeah. So yesterday, yeah. Oh, don't worry, I'm getting it, because right. I've got his mobile. Do you know what I mean? Now I even said to him, I even said... Well, that's for you. That was for me to phone you and find out if you're in labour. But I can't Well, stand. do you know what I'm saying? What if you were going to have I a baby know. now? What if you have a baby now and I phoned and some fucking fella on the phone doesn't want to give me his name, doesn't want to tell me where oh. he... Who are you? Not telling you. Where are you? Not telling oh. you. Well, hey, what, mate? That's my phone. I got it for fucking Virginia. So I'd know oh. when she's going into labour. So I can be there in the hospital with her. I'm, do you know what I'm saying? I'm really pissed off about the phone. All right, I know you're pissed off. I don't care if it missing or so. Right. I'm not getting you another one. It, it's That's not for the going baby. missing. It's not going missing and it ain't getting sold. If it was going to get sold, Paul, it'd be fucking sold sorry, ages sorry, ago. Sorry. You made me feel horrible half the time, but I'm I know you're not. I'm right. You know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, Carl. You know, if I wanted to sell the phone, I'd have to okay. sell it. It's not the phone, it's for the baby. It's for the baby. I've got you the phone for the baby and your phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No more talk about the phone. I'm getting the money. You know, we're here for your child. I got the phone back off the dealer and gave it back to Virginia. But I was still worried about her being in a squad, so I decided to put her in a bed and breakfast just until the baby arrived. I'm ready, like broke last ready. Oh, come on, Gabe. Are you going to be okay in this hotel? Yeah, of course. 24 to 1 night. So I'm sure somewhere better for you. I tried to be here, I'll put it on the display. I tried to be here, then be, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then be in my place. Because I, I only had a few hours sleep. Nikki phoned and apologised for not showing up at the detox clinic. 
She always says she's going to be off the gear by Christmas. It's October now, and she's decided to do her own takey at home. When I got round there, she was two days into it and off her head on Valium. I'll just do them tablets so it will last. They're fucking good to me, they don't last. How many did you have? 26. So you've took 16 since Friday? Yeah. I've had a period, you know. That's a period. What When was the last time you had one? Fucking hell, over a year ago. Fucking hell? A year ago. Must have been loads. Must have been massive. Four days. So what does, what's that telling you? You want to just get a wax to normal. That's fucking brilliant. That's good. I can't wait. Fucking hell, it's the first time a period has been good news. There was no sign of Virginia at the bed and breakfast, so I went back up to the squad. Ah, shit. <sighs> Five pound a pay in that hotel. I know you did. I I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. That's not the point, Virginia. It is the point. It's not the point. It's not the point. You don't have a fucking baby on a fucking shit old floor, babes. Where's your phone? Didn't you hear me? Well, didn't you hear me? I still it? got it. Where is it? Well, so it's gone again. You knew it has it. A father bag. Right? Yeah. I rung them up last night. I yeah. took the piss. Yeah. So I'm, don't worry at all. I don't mind. I'm off, Jane. Took the where's your phone? I've just. The where's the phone? Oh, yeah, it's oh. all right. It's safe. Why has someone else got your phone? Cause last night, right? Yeah. Oh, my head's done in. You've given it away again. Haven't I you? haven't. Swear on his baby. Well, how come? He's got it. You don't stay in the hotel and give your fucking phone away. No, it's not funny, Virginia! I never give it away! When I was in the hotel! Yeah? What? I give it away! I never give it away! Yeah? Put it on a trust card. I had a rock fight. So you put it on trust? And I was trust. too high. And he said to me, blah, blah, blah. I said, don't worry. You're getting it. As soon as I had the rock card, I went straight out. Got the money. Come back. Rung them up. I even rung them up twice. How Big much have you got? A, so you got to pay for the fucking phone. I'll again. pay it. Oh God, please. You gotta pay for the phone no, again. I'll pay for it this I'm time. I'm taking the phone off yet. Well, all right then. You don't fucking use it. You never I fucking have have used it. I used it. I did answer to the night. Oh, fuck I was off, too tired. Oh, and... Fuck off. Okay. Right, fuck you. Oh, yeah. See you later. Go to your mums. You stupid fucking bitch. What did I tell you? You just, you just, you just don't give a shit. Put in the hotel, get you the phone for the second day and run. You fucking give the fucking phone no, away. No, I have had the phone back and fee. Whatever. You have kept me up there. Whatever. Whatever, love. Whatever. To You get back to the fucking hotel. I paid money. Good fucking money. You get the fucking phone back. What would Virginia's life be like if she'd never taken crack? When we were young, she used to be so beautiful. She could have been a model, easy. I used to steam off her all the time, just like everyone else did. I don't know what the future holds for Virginia. Smoking crack is what she does. Being an addict is part of who she is. Maybe it's all she is. 
I'm angry because I can't help it, and my friendship is worth less than a rock. I love. Hello, Mum. You know what I eat? Yeah. Is Nanny there? Yeah. Can you tell her? Yeah. Love you. Mm -hmm. Is the baby okay, Mum? Yeah, he's fine. Miss some loads, you know. Mm -hmm. It's day three of Nikki's taking. She's still got some Valium tablets left and feels strong enough to contact the outside world. Change first, hasn't it? But once I'm on the off the drugs, that's an even better step, isn't it? Yeah, but then you gotta learn that you can't just walk out and leave them. The things that happened to me in the last twelve months, I wonder never had a nervous breakdown. Nick, we all have hard things to go through. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I had you when I was sixteen. Oh well, you didn't get raped or nothing, did you? Look, stop the self pity, Nick. It's not self pity, like... but what I'm saying is. Yeah, well, leave that behind. That's what I'm work. saying. That's where it all went wrong. I just want my son back, Mum. I miss him loads. I miss you. I miss you too. Mum, I'm not the Nicky I used to be. I'm not. I felt guilty about losing it with Virginia, so I went round to apologise. Here's your stuff. Some ciggies. Do you need stinks in I here? know, but it it's not my fucking fault. Poor. Oh. Is that you next door? I just want to apologise for going on last week about you. Oh, it's alright. I understand why you went missing for a couple of days and didn't stay in your town or... Friends? God, it whiffs in here. And I didn't say we weren't. You hold it straight. United, the greatest, my arse. What does the back say? As soon as I've had the baby, it's going to go straight on the protection list and they're going to take it off me. There's some fella going to be standing in the delivery room with like a suitcase and a bowl of hat. No, not then. Like not catching it out of your fanny. <laughs> straight into the case. Out the room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, what the saying is, when I have the baby, the baby will go straight onto the protection so list. So where will it live? Well, it's going to go with foster people. I'm going to be going here, there and everywhere and the baby can't go. To, a, to drug places because mm. at the end of the day it's you know it's just a, it's you know it, it's unfit for me but I'm an adult yeah. I can look after myself yeah, so that baby can't turn around and say mum I don't like it here because the bit you know what I mean that's all it is she is lads it's day four of Nikki's turkey and the Valium tablets have all run out are you saying me the mask by the time I got there She'd already arranged to meet a dealer outside the mosque. I need to go to the mosque first. You need to get off brown, that's what you need to do. I know, but I need to go to the mosque. I'll have a little time, but you can keep it. I just need to get over this, please. Please let me just go and have a little tiny bit. I need to tidy me out, me house up. I need to get me, me shit together. Please save me with the mask. Please save me with the mask. Fuck you, I walk, you fucking horrible. Don't even come in my house ever again. And I'm getting a taxi. Fuck you, so use you best guess out of my house. I'll never come in my door again. I'll have a line right now and go, why did I do that? I 
took Nikki to see the dealer. She was just in too much pain. I don't know if I've done the right thing, but what would you have done if Nikki was your friend? No, <coughs> oh, that was horrible. Oh. That's what you were screaming for. Oh. Oh, what a fucking violation, man. That's what you were fucking screaming for, days You haven't had that shit. And you need that shit. You don't need that shit, Nick. Boys. I know that, you know that, me body knows that. Yeah. <sighs> it's unbelievable. Oh, it's excruciating. I don't want to know it anymore. <laughs> I want to be off it yeah. by Christmas. I really want to be off it by Christmas. I don't want to do this no more. Can't cause I'm disappointed myself. I mean, you've got no reason to be because you're fucking stuck it out. All you gotta do is the last 18 hours and you're there, girl. That's all. And we know what we need. We know. <clears throat> we know what we need, don't we? We know. I'd be fucking getting all fucking sad. Tanya sent me a visit order to go and see her in prison over in Lincoln. It was the first time I'd seen her clean in years. <laughs> no, but it's great being drug free. Please you believe it. Yeah, of course, Gran. Come and look at what he's put on two weeks ago. That was like that. Are the drugs inside the prim inside this jail? Not that I've seen, and that's truthful. Mm, this is one of the cleanest prisons I've been in, and that's true. Maybe there is drugs in here, but I haven't seen them yet. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I don't want to see them. It's I'm in enough trouble with your home office as it is. <laughs> Even when you get out, what's going to stop you from getting back into that drug spiral? Oh, I don't know, Carl, but something's got to stop me, hasn't I it? I know, you better just move out like a flat in Lincoln. You know what I'm thinking? Whoa, yeah. don't turn on the bottle, Pete. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Prices, the houses will go down and scouts will move away. <laughs> 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 That's for me, I've been looking for the front set. <laughs> that Liverpool, every time I go back to that Liverpool, I end up in the same circle no, and I keep going around and especially I can't you, get off this merry-go-round. Especially if you don't live with Angie, it's going to be just as bad, even worse. Uh -huh, but it's, go somewhere, you don't know anyone. I'm thinking, but then it's, I know if I go back there, there's more crack, more jail. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I've done enough jail now, you know what I mean? At least when I come out, I'm not on license and I won't I need to look behind me no more. Where to go? Just go off the stairs. Fuck hells. I felt like I'd made a serious mistake by taking Nikki to see the dealer. I'd made it easier for her to relapse. So when she told me she wanted to try and get clean again, I said she could do it at my place. This time, I was determined to get it right. Isn't it lovely? Now this is your room anyway. Oh, isn't that cool? So you're definitely staying here? Yeah. Yeah. Until it's over. No fucking about this time until you're off fucking smack, man. This is the room where you're gonna come off fucking smack. Oh, help. <laughs> this is it, girl, this is it. If we're not going back now, we're not halfway there again. This is the point. Yeah. 
I want to feel better. The only way I can feel better is if I have five live gear, which I don't want to have gear. It's oh, it's horrible. It's a fucking smacking tricks on you. It'll make you cry, it'll make you angry, it'll make you scream. <laughs> Quite a girl. Little boy. What's his name? Always oh, right. Oh, we had the baby. A little boy. It's gonna grab a hold on you. California soul. Walking down the Piedmont Street. And my back water's broke. You know, the fellow who drives the Sierra, the silver Sierra, the little fella, next thing, fuck off, mate. He stops and goes, like, you're all right, Fia? I said, no. He said, I'm having a baby. He went, get in the car. He got, in, got me in the car and he just zoomed down fucking Palm Street and got me in the hospital. And you gave birth that night? And I gave birth that night. How long was you in before? It's been 48 hours since Virginia last had a lick of rock. That was it? Was was the baby got taken into care straight away, but she got to hold him just before she How left. He's doing a little turkey. So that's why I didn't want you to go there for The baby's turkeying? Yeah. Off the... But not a bad turkey. Off the crack or the off brown? The, off the brown. Not a bad turkey. I'm not being horrible to you, Virginia, but if you can't do the turkey, how do you expect them to do? I, I just think they feel... Do you want to feel that? I want to go... 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 Yeah, but when you found out you're pregnant, why didn't you wean yourself off it like I have done? I did. So how come that he was born rattling? No, he weren't born rattling. What then? A little turkey. He weren't born. If, what I'm saying is, he weren't born rattling. What was your arm when you had him, Virginia, please? Look at it, look at He weren't born rattling. You just have little, little, little twitches. Yeah, little twitches. But not like, bad. I'm yeah. not being horrible, not on Virginia, but the lifestyle like, you're, like you're living, I think it'd be nicer for you to say, let someone else give him the best of life. Yeah. Or say to yourself, enough is a fucking enough. Like Get I off did. This shit. You and fucking John raise John your children. Yeah. The devil's drug, I call it. The devil's found rough. It is. Crack a cocaine. It's evil. Going through my brain. <coughs> it's the fourth day of Nikki's taking. She got this far last time before relapsing, and again, she wants to leave. <coughs> I don't want the pain, though. I have to no get some pain. pain. I'm going to get up and walk out this house. That's what I'm back. saying, you're not. I am. You're not. I am. You're not. Watch me. You're not. Watch me. You have to try and get out the window because you're not. I'm fucking jump out. Just don't give a fuck. No, yeah, before you go, this is serious, man. Listen, listen, listen. I don't want to listen to that. Let me out. So you're just going to get back on brown because you... Let me out the door. But why are you leaving then? You don't need this. You don't need this. Let me out this fucking room now. Let me out the room, please. Nikki, if you go, that's it. Just let me out the room. If you go, that's it. You know that, don't you? I know, I know. Let me go. Let me out the room. Why are you behaving like this? Think of your mum. I know. Think of what, Nikki? What the fuck? Don't you want to do this, Nick? Yeah. Nikki. Let me out the door. Yeah, I'm gonna let you out the door because you know if you don't want to do it, what the fuck are we bothers for? Nikki, you know what? You know what's the right thing to do here. Nikki still wanted to leave, and I knew I couldn't force her to stay because for this to really work, she had to decide to stick it out for herself. But I felt like I'd been here before, and I was getting more and more frustrated. I'm angry that you're leaving, and I don't think we're finished with this particular fucking program that we're doing. You know, we had a set day, a set course, what we were going to do every day, every six hours, and you know, you just <sighs> cut it short, and I'm angry that you're going to fucking relapse. I'm not, you know. Okay, well, there's nothing to be angry about then. You're right, I didn't, I was angry with you, I had a knock on, my dad see all that fucking good work down the fucking drain, but I believe you, because you've never lied to me, so all this no, good work's yeah. not down the drain. I'm making it your works. That's right then, Nicky, we're safe, me and you are safe, mate. Don't you worry about nothing. You big softy, stupid bastard. Give me a hug, give me a soft Despite being in pain, Nikki decided to stay with me for another 24 hours, and the next day, it all seemed worth it. Hello! <laughs> I don't need me tablet. 
Oh, I'm alright yeah. now. You feel perfect. Okay. Really? Yeah. Are you fucking serious? I'm serious. Really? Yeah. On day five, she was back in the land of the living. It looked like her take he was finished, and she'd done her rattle. Christmas Patrick? Yes. How do you feel now being free? I feel fine. How long has it been since you've had no drugs? <sighs> five days. This is me tara. She'll scrape her face and smoke it. <laughs> yes. Are you ready? Just getting smashed. See? That's the last. Bye. Happy Christmas, lad. Nikki really meant it. She was off the gear by Christmas. A couple of weeks later, she moved house and got her son back. <laughs> Tanya spent Christmas in prison. I went up to see her recently and was allowed to take her out on a town visit. She's due out in two months' time and she still wants to get her daughter back. In order for me to get my children back, I have to be right. And right now, although I've been drug free for ten months, I'm still not right. Because it does take a long time. The children are a lifetime craft, not is it? For Virginia, Christmas Day is business as usual. Boyfriend Steve has been writing to it, and he'll be out of jail soon. She likes her life, and who am I to try and change the way she lives it? Not that I could anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Nikki's next big step is staying off the drugs and keeping hold of his son. On the camera, let me have a go. I've been making this film for 12 months now. It's been hard being part of a world I used to inhabit. I don't know what the future holds for me or the girls, but whatever happens, we'll always be friends. <laughs> These girls aren't monsters. For sources of support and information about drug abuse, you can talk in confidence to advisors at the BBC Action Line. The number to call is 08000 934 934. Calls are free and confidential. That's 08000 934 934. Lines are open until midnight every day. Night, when she was walking home from a club, she was raped. Ever since then, she'd been right back on the gear. I just felt this twat. Right on my head, couldn't hit me with a bottle, clunk, and I saw it hit the floor, and next thing I just visual me getting dragged across the road from one side to the other. I must have blacked out because I can remember this lad saying, you oh, fucking what are you doing? Fucking enough's enough, you know what I mean? What are you doing? One big tall lad who shit himself because the other lad was going too far. I was unconscious. I come to and the lad was over me, do you know what I mean? <coughs> Mum was like, carrying on, but I was just stuck. I don't know, it was weird. A different time, or? Yeah. But I wasn't... You can't think straight. But I wasn't... I wasn't in... I wasn't where, the, where it has happened, because I couldn't remember. Yeah. So, and that's, that's what pissed me off. Never, but you block it out, though, yeah, don't you, do. as well? Yeah, you do. It's like a memory loss. Yeah. Go girls, this is drug competition and it's Nikki in the hand and it's taking a man when she's chasing the brown, she's chasing the brown, brown. Catching up on the rock, on the rock, and she's sucking her heart in the light of, and I come on us down the neck and I go! Oh! Does anybody want an ice cream? Lolly Ace? Mr. Whippy? Walnut Whip? Side then. <laughs> you look like you're gonna. That night, I went round to Tanya's house. Oh, shit! Being a fugitive from justice really can mess up your daily routine. Tanya's still scared to go out on the block in case she gets nicked. 
but she's been locked up in the house now for over a month. Have you ever sat there, Virginia, and said to yourself, I wish things could be different? Yeah. You know, in the 18th century, mm. it was the Black Plague. Now it's the White Plague. The White Plague. It is. It's the full. It's evil. It's the root of all evil. And do you know what? He loved it. When I was 22, I had everything a girl could wish for. I had everything come for me. Running to town, buying the latest outfit, wanna know the latest right. dance, drinking, buzzing <coughs> with me spars, bullet and everything. Do you know what I mean? Parties, out of Ah, uh, the respect we used to have. We haven't got that now. It's just look, look down on us, who we are, there's the crackheads. You know I mean? And it hurts, doesn't it? A week later, I went window shopping with Nikki and her son. Look, you want that one now? Or like that one? Like that one. Although he lives with his nan, Nikki sees her son a couple of times a week. And she's told me she wants to get clean so she can have him back full time. Is that the one you want? That one there, I want love. But like all crack addicts, I don't know if she really means what she says. Already said to me yesterday in the shop. Mum, it won't be long before I come home. Back, back in at my house, will it, for it ever and stay with you um, for long because you're getting better now, aren't you? And it won't be long before you're not sick and you're properly better, isn't it, Mum? I went, yeah, of course it is, babe. Once you'll be back before Christmas. But as I said to Elma last night, once I'm better and I'm totally off the drugs, how do I go about getting a bath? Do I just take him back? Because he's not going to court, he hasn't gone to court, nothing of that. So I been... give me mum. I'm seeing. So you made your mum guardian. Yeah. There's no, not an official, nothing written down. No. So it's really up to you. You were in charge of your senses enough to put them there. So when you finished fucking about your little binges or whatever, and your shit sorted, you just go back again, and only you'll know when that is. No. Oh. 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 Why is that? Oh, 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 oh. The next day, Virginia went out to score some gear and just didn't come back. Tanya's rattling. Don't even film me, Carl. I'm not in the mood. Why? Don't, because I'm not in the mood. Why aren't you in the mood? Because I'm feeling rough. Why? I'm not in the mood. Don't film me, right? <laughs> Stop being a baby. Wait. Have you got the flu? Yeah, what happened? <sighs> I'm getting bathed and going out. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to rob some cunt. <laughs> if a drug addict had £10 a day or £1,000 a day, they'd spend every last penny on drugs and then go out and rob a pint of milk for a cup of tea. What Nikki's doing now is putting the bag together to go shoplifting. The alarm, the metal, the bug, it's, that stops it from sending the signal out. The best thing, £100 DVD from Curry's. Just took it off the shelf. Walked out with it. <laughs> Be surprised how many people do this, you know. Surprise. <laughs> I've been making this film for three months now. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a crackhead trying to be a filmmaker or a filmmaker pretending to be a crackhead. I had a foot in either world and it was starting to become a problem. Anyway, if you fucking produce it or whatever it is. You've got something to tell me what? Tell your fucking producer all my efforts I'm putting into it. Right? Tell him he didn't fucking help me yesterday when I was dick and he wanted to bought me, he just bought me a fucking phone. You could have given me a fucking turn it and fucking do you know. No, good that's not job right. Yet. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't give you money for drugs, Tanya. It's just not right. No, fuck off. I wouldn't give you money for nothing. I'd buy you food, I'd buy you clothes, I couldn't give you the dough. You just fuck off and score. Oh, fuck you blame off. me. No, 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 no you blame me. Yeah. You smoked with me, you cunt. <laughs> 
So shut up. No, I wouldn't have done. Yeah. I wouldn't have done. You have done. Yeah, but I wouldn't have done. Well, shut up. Tanya was right. I had smoked with her. We used to be drug friends, but now that part of my life's over. I don't know what we are. The truth is, I still want something from her because I'm trying to make this film, but I can't give her what she wants in return. Where are you going now, Nick? Into town. What for? It's craft. What does craft mean? You know what it means, one of the children. I know what craft means, but our viewers on the BBC don't know what craft means. I'm going to rob the shops for my drug money. But we're going to shop first for Siggy's because I need a Siggy. Tanya's going off her head now because Virginia's still missing. She's decided to go out onto the street. She's a clipper. She doesn't have sex with the punters, she just rubs them. Later on that night, Tanya got nicked, and when they found out who she was, they sent her straight back to prison. <laughs> Tanya got 12 months, so I decided to track down Virginia. I'd almost given up hope when her mother told me where she might be. She also told me that Virginia was pregnant. It's fucking stinks. Oh my god. Shit in the bath. Puke in the bath. I was born in Toxted with a pool aid, but lived and worked in London for 10 years. When I returned, due to the untimely death of my brother, I was just so shocked at what I found. Every single one of my friends were now either crack addicts or crack dealers. I've seen a lot of films about drugs, but they all seem to be made from the outside. I wanted to show what the view was like from where I was. A few days later, Tracked down an old friend, Tanya, to a crack house in the middle of Toxteth. We went to school together. She was cock of the girls and most of the boys. She was sharing the house with Virginia, another girl I've known for over 20 years. Yeah, yeah. she was a lifter. No, well, you didn't get that anyway. No, I know that. I'm just saying, I just want one. Yeah, well, you're getting it anyway. The deal is, oh, Tanya, Tanya does the cooking and the cleaning while Virginia, well, she goes down on the block to sell her ass anyway. for crack. What do you need doing? Anything else? No, I'll sort of Sure. Tanya broke her parole six months ago. Do some milk for you. <laughs> when I found her, she was still on the run from the police. What's it like being a fugitive? It's not nice. What precautions do you take not to get arrested? I have to keep a lid all the time, keep on my guard. Well, how can you get a false name in? All the fucking busies know you. You know? To get mixed up with me and Mandy. You know where you live, you know where to find you, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You really want to, come and get ya. Tanya's two year old daughter has been taken into care. She's trying to get relatives to adopt her before handing herself into the police. The social services have threatened me with adoption. How can you adopt her when there's family that are willing to take her car? Mm -hmm. Do you have to explore every aspect first before you go into mm -hmm. that? And there's family willing to have it. And your mum can't take it because... My mum's dead. And your sister Melita can't take it because... She's dead. And your brother Keith can't take it because... Cause he's dead. And I'm pining for that. I really want to say it badly. I'm no disrespect on what I can't talk about it anymore because it'll upset me because... I'm pining for that. <laughs> <laughs> Let it down. Maybe that was so temporary. <laughs> Let her down, cause she's been living with me. I had to in prison with me and everything. I've let her down. Tanya, <laughs> you'll always love it and you'll always be there for her. And you haven't been. Oh, God, they're not taking her. They're not putting them with strangers, man. I only get pictures four times a year and I need to see her. I'm not allowing that to happen. Do you remember the sitcom Bread? It was filmed in these streets in the 80s. You know, gotta get up, gotta get out. Grab the world by the throat and shout. 
The buzz was a long gun. It's Nikki and a friend that live here now. Brilliant! Hey guys, I've got two white. Crack. That's what that calls. Crack. <laughs> and a brown. That's heroin. Crack is mentally addictive, but heroin, it's a physical thing. People take crack to get high and heroin to come down. Smoking one drug makes you want to smoke the other one even more. It's 4 p.m. and the girls are getting up after a night on the block. When she wakes up, she's going to be really, like, shaking now. And she'll wake up, and if that's not there when she gets up, she'll throw up. But if that's there, she won't be sick. If that's not there, she's terrible, and I don't like seeing her like that. And here's one of mine's earlier. <laughs> here's one of mine's earlier. Fucking hell, the size of that girl. Yeah. You look like the fucking Maisie <laughs> Tunnel then, you know. Tony. Did you swallow that? <laughs> you never. You never. Nikki was clean for seven years. Ugh. Then one night. Hard-hitting insight into the world of crack, cocaine and heroin addiction now on BBC Two. Honest dealing with the subject means the programme contains scenes of drug abuse, some which viewers may find disturbing, sexually explicit material and very strong language right from the start. Crack House. Wakey wakey! Crack cocaine. It's the king of all drugs, the undisputed champion of Class A narcotics. Give me in! Give me in! for you there, Give me in. Man. It's expensive, tiny, and very, very addictive. I'm more of a rockhead than a fucking smackhead. I love me rock. It's a drug dealer's dream, the most addictive feeling in the known drug universe. I know this because I used to be a crack addict, and some of my friends still are. But these girls aren't monsters. I've known most of them since we were kids together. Oh, fuck off, fuck off! He loves all the attention, the girls get at me! I stopped taking crack because I wanted to make a film. Can't we get you on it? Here's our nice Carl, isn't he, boss? My name's Carl John, but everybody calls me CJ. That's me a year ago when I started filming. I've got to put a mic on you first. Okay. Can I put a mic on you? Yeah. A mic? Yeah. Ooh, got oh, your ass then, baby. Ooh! 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 You go, baby. You go. I've got this. Ooh! 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 Hi, Mace. I'm just on my way out, love. Go on, too. So you go down to Nanny Elna's now, go on. Mm. No, go on, Mum's going for the pint. Mm. She's also got a nine-year-old son. Mm. Oh, what do you want? He lives with his nan. What do you want? I mm. want to see you. All right, well, I'm going now because I've got to go out. Are you going to town, aren't we, tomorrow? Otherwise, if you don't, you know... See you later. Can't stay in the bathroom, get your stuff. Is he go is he staying here or going home? He's going home in a minute, aren't you, Mace? Hey. Yeah. See you later. Ta -da. Ta -da. Can you show me how to raise it now? It's past your bedtime, don't you think? Please. Don't you think it's past your bedtime? What's the best evening gone? How do you know? What? I know. Says. <laughs> what was it like then? Scary, mate. I dropped Nikki's son off at his auntie's house on the next street and went to watch Nikki and her friend at work. I had to hide in the bushes to film them. It's cold on the block in the middle of January. Nikki's friend isn't a prostitute, she just goes with Nikki to look after her. But tonight, it's here that pulls a punter. Get on this. You <laughs> calm before I could do anything. Let's go home. Let's go home. Get on that. I didn't even want to get on that. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get on that. 
Tessie vaart tof aan, ik kom niet voor een gezien van fokje. Ik moet de kaart uit, jongen, de score aan mijn kind. Ik heb een nek. Fucking wat like that. What the fuck, I love ya. Oh, you come in the room, man. Yeah, that's a good one. And I can't be baby, who's coming in the room. Stay in here and she's not playing out with Swain's, okay? But I fucking love that. What the fuck, I love ya. In the bath. She's been here. God knows where she is today. I couldn't find Virginia, but as I was leaving, I ran into a new boyfriend, Steve, who was also waiting for her to turn up. Where's your pregnant girlfriend, Virginia? I don't know, I've been looking for her. When was the last time you seen her? Because I was here last week at yeah. the Perry's. Um, <coughs> two nights ago now. Here? Was that here? No, just over Across the road. Across the road. Yeah. Was that your baby? No. Are you still willing to look after yeah. her? Will yeah. She, will she be able to keep the baby, do you think? Well, she's saying that um, she wants to, and she's going to get her head together, but... I was still getting to know Steve when Virginia eventually showed up. Hey, yeah! Here she is. Hey! Look how big your belly is. That's getting big. <laughs> get that in! <laughs> That's massive. And now you can come in. Hey, do you know what? Just want to come in and see me up giving birth to the baby. Dad loved that. Would you? I'll yeah, say I'm the dad. <laughs> and then when it's born, I'll go, That's not me! <laughs> <laughs> and storm out. Virginia's got two other kids, but she doesn't live with them. One's in Cairn, one's with her relatives. God knows why she wants to have another one. It's likely she won't be able to keep that one either, but maybe Steve is the difference this time. Yeah, you make a nice couple. <laughs> Thank you. Bringing in the fucking uterus <laughs> just now. <laughs> so what are you up to now? I'm going to get me some drugs. Where are you going to get that from? <sighs> You're getting the money. I'm getting them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I meant for you. <laughs> <laughs> there did seem to be some kind of affection between Virginia and Steve in a double act kind of a way whether they could bring up a kid together, I just don't know. <laughs> One night we were walking down on the right side. Oh, we got to school. Oh, we're, we're in the end, you know, right? We've only got a turn, but we want one of each. Could be scoring off the walls, eh? So, she's gone like that, I'll show me sis. So we're in the end, you know, and the boys come, yeah? And like, the boys there, and I'm here saying, yeah, I'll do this, I'll do that, and she's standing there. But and she's like that. She's got a top up like that with the tits going, whoa, do it for this. Please, do for these. You ain't even on to it. I had to point it out to say, yeah, hello. No, do it for them. Do it for them. And did he? No, did he fuck? Steve gets to share the drugs by watching Virginia's back while she's working on the block, but it's hard to see what he's doing to earn his share. When we're in the house and all that, once she's had a smoke and all that, you know, I just want to chill and like, she just wants to get out there. I think what it is with her, because she's been doing it for that many years, it's just their life. You know what I mean? Like I know some fellas who just used to go and put oh, them on yeah, the block to get them to go and just the money. smoke all the drugs, mm. pretend they love them. You know, well, like I've said to Virginia enough times, you know, you just stop giving that. And like, I go out and make me money. Cause like, I could go out and I could go out and do a craft and then night, and like make more money. You know what I mean? But she doesn't want you to do that, does she? She was saying she doesn't want you getting locked up before the yeah. baby arrives. And you can't have that baby if you didn't that out. You can't have that. She's got nowhere to no. live. You got to sort that out. So no. before, man, no. fucking hell. You can have a pram, a cot, bottles, sterilizers, baby grows. Where the fuck's all that coming from? A couple of streets away, Nikki's also looking for a punter. She's fallen out with her friend and tonight, she's on the block on her own. 
She said it was okay to put a radio mic in her bag. Yeah. Depends, right? <laughs> it depends on what. Like, 